So we talked about the concept of market failure before in a previous lecture, and now we're going to talk about the concept of government failure in this lecture. And government failure isn't so much a different concept to market failure as it also relates to an inefficient allocation of resources due to government intervention. So the definition of government failure is when the there is an inefficient allocation of resources due to government intervention intervention and now there are many different reasons as to why the government intervenes but we'll talk about that in a moment okay so what does it mean by an inefficient allocation of resources? I must stress that an inefficient allocation of resources means both an both opportunity cost not minimized as well as living standards not maximized. So that's the crux of what an inefficient allocation of resources actually is. So let's look at why the government fails sometimes. So as we can see from before, market failure occurs for many different reasons. And because the markets fail to allocate resources efficient, efficiently sometimes, the government has to step in. So the causes of government failure, let's look at the causes of government failure. Now we'll go into depth of how these government, why governments fail in further lectures, where we break down each separate cause or each separate fail failures by the government. Um, but for now, we're just going to for this introductory lecture, we're just going to look at um, or skim through the main concepts of government failure. So why do the government actually um, intervene in the market? So, firstly, we the, the government intervenes because they want to correct various types of market failure. So for a simple example here where we have the market failure of asymmetric information it is by law that the producer or the supplier needs to, needs to disclose all relevant information about the product they're selling so that they're not actually engaging in trickery or unconscionable dealing with um, with the consumer. So the law, the government, um, corrects this type of market failure by, um, by, by making certain laws to correct it. Okay, so that's the first type of government failure, why the government intervenes in the market. So secondly, we have stabilization. of the economy. And we'll go over this when we talk about economic sustainability and how the government just doesn't want the economy to keep growing and growing and growing. It is essential for the government to actually stabilize the economy so that we don't have um, huge booms and huge troughs so that we're going to experience a consistent rate of growth in the economy and that's a very important government goal. Um, which is economic, the strongest sustainable economic growth over the business cycle, and that's a that's a goal that we'll go through in in um in further topics on on ma the, on the macroeconomic um, goals of the government. So that's the second reason why the government intervenes. And lastly, we have the redistribution of income. So as to encourage equity and this is a big this is a big one so this relates to back to the concept of minimum wages equity not equity so, um, subsidies sometimes I get confused with both so subsidies subsidies is what the government gives out to businesses so that they have an equitable distribution of income. And so these are the main causes of government failure. When they try to correct various 
different types of market failure, they actually go about making the market less efficient as it, than it would before. Also, when they try to stabilize the economy, they're going to slow down, slow the growth of certain sectors so that we don't experience huge booms or huge troughs when they occur. And also, lastly, they want to redistribute income so as to encourage equity. And this relates back to the minimum wage schemes or subsidies that they pay out to certain markets or certain sectors to help them in, to help encourage them to keep producing and keep keep the jobs alive in such you know automate automated um, machine sectors, so cars, manufacturing, and retail, where we can't compete with um, international sources of labor. And so this is the concept of government failure: is where where the government intervenes in certain markets, and because of the government intervention here. Yeah, there is an inefficient allocation of resources due, due to the due to the fact that opportunity cost in these markets is not minimized and that living standards in these markets are not maximized